And if there was any question at all as to how Chief Hobley Bernie would be greeted after her suspension, that was answered within the first few seconds after she arrived. We had a hard time doing our interview because so many people wanted to come up to her and say hello. She was welcomed back literally with open arms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, how are you? Welcome back. For Pierce Police Chief Diane Hobley Bernie could not have received a friendlier welcome as she arrived at JC Park for National Night Out. And while it's clearly not realistic to think all community police interactions will be this friendly, improving relations is the goal. So this gives the opportunity to interact with us, talk to us, touch us, hug us, laugh with us. So they can interact with each other, get acquainted better. Uh, it's it's important that uh, we be able to do that. And there were about a hundred people here just talking to officers, getting to know them not as law enforcement, but as people. <laughs> and how about this? The sheriff's office was greeted with a standing ovation at another national night out event. This one at the Savannah Club in Port St. Lucie. Challenging times for law enforcement. People realize that, and uh, they want to show their appreciation now more than ever. <laughs> And while the deputies may have abstained from the line dancing, people still lined up just for the chance to shake the sheriff's hand. All around, community members and law enforcement were just chatting. He's a part of the community, so I, I, I they, they have, they, they can do no wrong as far as I'm concerned. I think it tears down walls, uh, walls of insecurity that uh, some people have. Uh, against law enforcement. Sometimes you need to get to know us because the uniform comes off. A lot of people forget about that aspect. The uniform comes off and then they'll see we're just like them. And both the sheriff and the chief told me the same thing. They don't want this to be a one night thing. They've instructed their officers, their deputies to have a positive interaction with the community at least a couple of times a day. Ari Height, WPBF 25 News. Our thanks to Ari. West Palm Beach also took part in National Night Out. Officers held seminars and safety demonstrations at the Target store on Palm Beach Lakes Boulevard. The SWAT team, the bomb squad, and the dive team all attended. And more than 200 children and adults turned out for National Night Out celebrations in Rivera Beach to meet the city's police officers. The canine unit there put on a show and kids got to play in the rapid response team's armored truck. The event also had a raffle, music, and plenty of food. Every entity that claims to have a stake in the quality of life of community needs to come together if we're going to make this thing work. Cops are here to keep you safe, but we can't do our jobs without the support of the community. And we're here building that support and building that trust. In case you're wondering how long this has been around, this is the country's 33rd National Night Out.